message you come up with United States of Africa. What is the African agenda? Well, it's good. Gambia people are rejoicing today because over some amount of years of just, you know, the one we rule, at least them come out of some captivity. But what should be the rightful message today to the African people especially, to the heads of government? Well, I believe that as a nation we have to be united because united will stand but divided will fall. And as the great Marcus Garvey teaches us, he said we have to be more proud of our integrity, of, of our pride, of our, of our heritage. Because a lot of Africans, many of them, they are dreaming of coming away, going to the America, American dream, and the England, England dream, and the European dream. Many of them still running away and cannot, because the leadership is not right. I believe we have a problem with leadership. In, and there's time for the changes, as I say. The people need a change. What is happening? There's nothing wrong if we have a change of government. President Jame has served for over 20 odd years mm. in Gambia. People need a change. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think I like the system that America works with. Because after four years, you automatically have to take your leave and let the next president come in. You know, so I think original, I think that Africa needs to look, at least take some example from that. If leaders of the countries could lead for two terms, you know, mm. then take their leave. When you get in power, people get so much in love with this powerful chair. You're sitting on the throne, so you want to rule forever. But, you know, to me, it's only fair that the people get a choice to decide their destiny. That's right. 